Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. Good Lord, what a day. It is Friday the 13th, and it has been a crazy day here in the end times. Up here in uh, West Bumblefuck, <coughs> New York, on Friday, January 13th, 2022. So, uh... Anyway, I want to, before I forget, I want to send out a big thank you to all of these people, particularly uh, Ashok, uh, Ashok, and of course my good buddy Osama, and Free Bear, I'll throw you in there. All of these people who, uh, for whatever reason, are, are concerned about, good Lord, uh, probably thousands of old moldy old Humpty Dumpty tribe videos that are no longer available uh, that I took off the air a couple of years ago and uh, you might have noticed that so anyway we've been playing around with all this trying to figure out whether I should pub re publish those videos or what to do with them so they, they haven't been deleted yet they are still out there hundreds if not thousands of videos I mean going back to you know 14 years I'm talking thousands of videos uh, I, I, who gives a shit it's like nobody's ever gonna watch these things but apparently I did not realize I had such a such a fear, just fiercely loyal, tiny, tiny little inner sanctum of people uh, who are very concerned uh, that YouTube is getting ready to yank down my channel. That this channel could be gone any day, and if. YouTube, if Humpty Dumpty Tribe goes down, all of those hundreds if not thousands of videos that are still out there, they're just asleep. They're, uh, they're just been, I just shifted them from public to private, are going to go down with them. And so anyway, we're figuring out what to do with all this. And so somehow in the middle of this, uh, a video came on, uh, as you might have noticed. I have no idea how this happened. I guess it was from Valentine's Day 2021 that was filmed down there in Florida on my place in the Point Lonesome Swamp in that um, in my outdoor kitchen uh, in the Point Lonesome Swamp. You know, which I, you know, the piece of land I sold last year. And we tore down that kitchen because I had been busted by the county. So that kitchen is gone. I've sold that piece of land. But I, it just occurred to me in the middle of all this that I have never told the story of what went down that day. And why did I yank down thousands and thousands of, uh, of, of, of videos from Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So what happened was this, guys. I was, you know, down there. This was, it was at the very end of October of 2020. And um, so I went, you know, I left New York, went down there to be a snowbird down there on my property, you know, at the end of that dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, and it was that winter that uh, we were running that, that hip camp, as a matter of fact, that uh, we started that hip camp actually, I guess, on... Uh, anyway, it was that winter that we were running the hip camp that ended up getting busted. Uh, and that you know that kitchen was part of. So this was the year before Lulu. You know that that crazy psycho bitch next door neighbor of mine. It was the year before she blew her brains out. So she was still there. 
And the absolute last thing that I needed was for Lulu to find out about Humpty Dumpty Tribe. If Lulu had, had found out that I was making all of these videos basically in her backyard, oh my God. Uh, she would have been. Uh, uh, she would. Have, she wouldn't have been suicidal. She would have been homicidal. And I really didn't care for anybody in the entire town of Inverness, Florida, down there. And you know that Trump tarred redneck capital of the world. I mean, just down there at the end of that dirt road, in the middle of a, you know this ocean of these redneck gun-toting uh, Trump tards, all of these tweakers. There are all kinds of reasons that I did not need this, the city of Inverness, Florida finding out about uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. It could get me in some deep shit. So I very carefully had to hide from Lulu uh, when I was doing these videos, I had to make sure that Lulu, uh, unbelievably, uh, she never caught me red-handed doing one of these videos. So what happened was, uh, I had just gotten down there, I hadn't been down there long, and my buddy Warren uh, lives uh, not too far from there, so my buddy Warren came up to visit for a couple of days and help me get settled in and stuff. So, so Warren is up there. So I don't rem know if you guys remember those fucking airboats, those motherfucking airboats from hell that just completely destroyed uh, everything. Uh, so I had that uh, big, uh, it, it was a big tower if you remember that deer blind in my, you know, on my property, it was actually a hog hunting blind to be perfectly accurate, but it was this big, like a two story tower, looked like a, like a fire tower that you would climb up there and Lulu was scared to climb up there. So I knew I could always escape that bitch by going up to the top of that tower, getting away from that nasty woman. So. Warren and I were up at that tower uh, doing this video and what the video was about, we were up there and I, ha I just happened to have the camera up there with me. And so we're up there, and I'm just having a drink or whatnot, and just enjoying this beautiful afternoon, you know, the sunset starting and the cranes coming in and all of this uh, going on, uh, and, th and then these fucking airboats, these two motherfucking airboats come by. And so I had the camera in, and I'm filming these goddamn airboats going by uh, with, with, with their goddamn jet engines and shit, and I went, good God Almighty, and I did one of these air, airboat rants. And so Warren and I are joking in that about, uh, you know, where is a piano wire and, and, and a bazooka when you need one, you know, like sitting up there and uh, just tracking these airboats, uh, just thinking how nice it would be, uh, to, you know, to have a, uh, a piano wire or a bazooka sitting up there. So we made this obvious joke video. And I, I don't know what time it was that we made this video. Uh, sitting out at the end of a dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp, miles outside of, uh, uh, of Inverness, Florida, posted this video. Uh, well, it was the next day. I, it was the next evening. I think Warren had gone home. So I had this video that I took, probably about a five or six minute video of these fucking airboats. So I named the video, Where is a <clears throat> Piano Wire 
and a rocket launcher when you need one. And I put it out there on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, I think it was a Sunday after. I'm pretty sure it was on a Sunday afternoon. And, un and, and understand, I did not say the video was filmed in Inverness, Florida. There was nothing in there that, saying that, uh, that it was filmed in, in, in Inverness because uh, I didn't want anybody in Inverness to, you know, to find my channel, especially Lulu. And uh, so I post that video, guys. It, I know it wasn't two hours. I know it wasn't two hours uh, before I put that video out there of Warren and I sitting in that tower. You could tell we were in that tower looking out over there and I posted that video and within two hours the fucking cops were there at the end of that dirt road. Uh, motherfucker. So I just thought when the cops pulled up uh, that I thought they were coming you know to talk to Lulu. She was always getting in trouble with the fucking cops so I just assumed that she uh, th that they were there for her, so I go out and uh, to meet the cops at the gate, and this big old fat uh, Citrus County Sheriff's deputy, you know, one of these classic looking pot-bellied redneck cops, you know, getting out of his car. So I looked at him and I said, "I assume you're here to see Lulu." And he looks at me and he goes, no, sir. He goes, you're the man uh, that I'm here to see. And, and, and I'm going, what the fuck? I, 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 I said, why are you possibly here to see me? And he, and he goes, well, sir, he goes, we've had, some, we've had reports that you have been making terrorist threats against airboaters. Uh, that <laughs> you've been making terrorist threats against airboaters from uh, posting that video. And he could tell by looking at the video because this, the, this tower was, was a major landmark that, that every fucking airboater in Citrus County knew that tower. That was one of their major landmarks. So he goes on that video, takes one look at it, and he knows goddamn well where this terrorist lived. And he knew exactly uh, where that was filmed. So he gets in his car and and, and comes out there, and and, and, I, and and you know this was could have been a dicey situation. And and I just said, well, what is, I, I said, so what is making terrorist threats against airboaters mean? And he goes, well, it, he goes, it could mean 20 years in federal prison is what this man told me. He's, he's out there, so we're standing out, uh, out outside the gate uh, talking. And it's right at dark. It's right at dark. And I'm out there talking to this fat, redneck, dumb hick cop. And he's talking about 20 years in federal prison for, uh, for making terrorist threats against, uh, against airboaters. And I'm thinking, well, how do I react to this? Because you know, shit like this, it can go, it can go south pretty quick, and uh, I was feeling pretty lonesome out there in the Point Lonesome Swamp. And then what he does is, is he, he kind of laughs, and he goes, it, it, "So he, he goes, what do you call yourself uh, on that? Uh, what's he, what's your name?" And uh, and I said, uh, you mean Hambone Little Tail? And he goes, yeah. He goes, Hambone Little Tail. So he goes, what's your real name, sir? So I told him my real name. And uh, he goes, well, Sam, or Mr. Mitchell, whatever you call me, this fat, 
redneck cop, he goes, you know, he goes, I went and watched that video, and he goes, and, and I looked uh, at a couple of your videos, uh, and it was, uh, this, this is coming from this dumb redneck cop. So I looked at a couple of your videos, and it was obvious to me that you were being ironic. <laughs> when this cop looked at me and said, it's obvious to me that you were being ironic. I mean, you talk about the, you know, the jaw dropping uh, against the collarbone. And I said, did you just say I am being ironic? Uh, on my YouTube channel, and, and he goes, well, he goes, well, aren't you? And he goes, Ob he goes, I know and you know uh, that you are not talking about getting a rocket launcher and stretching a uh, a piano wire uh, across the airboat uh, trail. And, uh, and, and, I, and I said, yes. I, I said, obviously, as you say, I was being ironic. I said, I want you to understand, sir, that in 10 minutes, in 10 minutes, you understand, <laughs> you understand more about Hambone Little Tail th than a bunch of these clueless morons who have been watching me for years. I, I, I said there's people who have been watching me for years who do not understand that Hambone Little Tail is a fictional character that Sam Mitchell uh, invented. And, 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 and so the cop, it was obvious to him. And, uh, and, and so at this point, of course, Lulu comes out of the house and, and sees the cop out there. This is actually the second time that the cops had been called. So Lulu comes out to the gate. Of course, she knows the cop. And, uh, and and she just she, she just goes, God damn it, uh, Hammond. She goes, you've been here two weeks, and the cops have already been here twice. Uh, and, and, and the cop looks at me, you know, and I said, that's a whole other story. It has nothing to do with you. And uh, so thank God Lulu just spun around and went back in her house and slammed the door while I was dealing with this cop. And... Uh, so, you know, I was talking to the cop. I said, okay, I said, so you understand that this, that Hambone Little Tail uh, is a fictional character being ironic. I, I said, so what do you think I should do? Uh, I, I said, I will rip this video down, obviously. I, I, I said, but what do you think I should do about the whole channel? And the, and the cop said, I don't think you should do anything about it. Uh, I, I said, so just, just leave it up there? Uh, I said, I mean, I'll take down this video. And, and, and he was just like, he didn't see uh, anything you know, wrong with leaving the channel up. And uh, I, I, said, I said, dude, I said, just level with me. I, I said, why... You know, what is going on here that somebody would watch that video and rat me out to the cops for making terrorist threats against, uh, against airboaters? And, uh, and, and he goes, sir, he goes, it's 2020. He goes, it's 2020 and, and, and tempers are just a little bit on edge about now and uh, you know basically that people didn't want to hear my smart mouth and uh, so uh, I mean a really nice guy a really nice guy so he gets in his, in his damn cop car and drives away and uh, you know with the advice to me don't even you know don't even uh, take your channel down he didn't see any problem with it uh, that uh, obviously it was some fictional character with some ironic channel uh, called Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but uh, 
I tossed and turned all night and uh, I just started thinking it was just what I call a whisper from spirit so I probably overreacted and uh, called Osama uh, Bella Lugrisi and, and said dude uh, what I should have done is just put the whole channel on ice for about a month and, and let things die down uh, but I didn't need all of these airboaters talk because I have a bunch of fucking videos about airboats and about Inverness and about Donald Trump you, you, you know talking shit about Donald Trump and and good God I'm sure I, I had a couple of videos about that psycho bitch next door and I just fucking freaked out, so I called Osama and uh, just told him to uh, do whatever he needed to do and just make the whole, uh, just make my whole channel private pretty much. And little by little I've been restoring some videos, so if you have a really favorite video that you want to uh, like yesterday uh, my buddy from Texas uh, wanted to see that video of Bigfoot kidnapping Sancho for instance so anyway guys if you have a particular video that disappeared that you want me to republish uh, just, just let me know in the comments what, you know, can you find whatever, and I'll try to uh, get it back. So, uh, in the meantime, what we're doing right now is between me and Osama and, and Ashok, uh, we are going to back up all of the videos. Uh, so I'm going to do that first, uh, but the question is whether I'm going to reactivate them, because good God, guys, if I reactivate, you know, YouTube can go on there, and that last video they pulled down for medical misinformation uh, a few days ago, the fucking video was six and a half years old. It was, it, it was three years probably before they even had a medical misinformation policy to violate. So when I put the fucking video up six and a half years ago, I, I mean, these cop bots, you know, they could go through and find some video that I made 10 years ago that, that, that has about 50 views on it that, that no one has seen in nine and a half years. You know what I'm saying. Uh, they find two more of those and this channel's gone. So they could, they could claim that uh, some fucking video I made in uh, 2012 violates some fucking community guideline uh, some fucking community guideline uh, it, that they didn't even create uh, until after 2020 and, uh, and, and just misinterpret it and you know ram their l little uh, square peg in a round hole and all of this shit and, and, and I could be fucked so but I'm gonna so I'm gonna back up the videos but whether I republish them or not uh, I don't know. So anyway, that is the big mystery of why all those uh, videos were pulled down. And uh, one of them that was pulled down, just real quickly, because you're probably wondering about the first time the cops were caught on. The first time uh, the cops were called on me is when I, I rescued a gopher tortoise. Uh, from getting run over and I took him out in the woods and so somebody saw me getting the gopher turtle off the side of the road and putting him in my truck uh, and, and I guess they read my uh, uh, license plate and, caught, and, and ratted me out to the cops for harboring endangered species 
Now, I was not there when the cops showed up for that one, but Lulu, uh, my next door neighbor, met the cops and she assured them that Hambone Littletail was not harboring endangered species. And off they went, and then I did not have any more cop issues, of course, until uh, someone ratted ratted us out with the hip camp and all of that shit went down and that was the end of the hip camp and then of course we all know the sad story of Lulu blowing her fucking brains out and uh, putting about thirty thousand dollars in my pocket with that bullet so I hope that uh, fills in the blanks and you can sleep better now Speaking of sleeping better, I think that's a good way to wrap up Friday the 13th. Bye, guys.